This is what is called the secret sauce of Natiza. I've seen a lot of inventions in my time. I can't remember the last time I saw something this brilliant. You see, every disc is going to bring blocks off the disc into memory, and that's how it's going to be processed. I mean, once it gets to memory, it's like watching lightning work. Once it's coming off the disc, it can feel like it's as slow as molasses. And for example, in a Teradata system, they're going to have to bring every block from disk into memory just to see if it's got the data that it needs, but not in a TISA. That's the idea behind the field programmable gate array. This is a chip that sits just on top of each SPOO's disk. When you are querying a table and say something like, I want to know uh, everything where the department number is equal to this or the state code is equal to this, that chip is going to have that query that says they need the state code of Ohio. And it's going to sit right on that chip. And as the data blocks are about to come in, they're going to put a little thing called a zone map in there. And if they decide that that data has got the information they need, they're going to take that data uncompressed in the field programmable gate array called the FPGA card. Then they're going to decide, hey, do we need all of the columns? We don't. Do we need all of the rows? And then a small subset of what you have ready is going to go to the processor. This is absolutely brilliant because it cuts down on so much unneeded waste. And that's the brilliant behind the TISA. It always moves only what's needed to satisfy the query. And that's where they've beaten all the other databases in the world to the punch. Here's some information on how Natiza is going to compress things, but let's just give you the real scoop. As data is being loaded into Natiza, they're actually going to put the rows on different spoos, but as those rows are going in, they're going to do the compression based on the column itself, and they've got a wide variety of these. This is going to compress each one of these tables by an average of four times. So each table's four times smaller when it's stored on disk, and then when they bring that block back to be processed, it's going to go through the FPGA card, where at wire speeds it's going to uncompress this, so even the data movement's about four times to 32 times smaller, and this is another ingenious piece of Natiza. Compress it on the disk, uncompress it in the FPGA card while it moves, and now you can process what you need to, and it's all automatic. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The next is Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings.